In this video, I'm going to show you how to add .loty animations to Framer sites. Let's get started. So .lot is an open source file format that aggregates one or more .lot files and their associated resources into a single line. Their zips compressed with the deflate compression method and carry the file extension of .lot. So why should you use .lot? Well, there are a few reasons why you might want to use .lot instead of regular .lot files. So one is that .lot files are smaller, which means they load faster. And they're more efficient, which means they use less memory. And they're also more portable, which means you can easily share them with others. So how to add them to Framer? Well, you can add a .lot animation to your Framer site by following these steps. So as we go into Framer, as you can see, this is like a blank hero section of a landing page. And we'll be inserting a .lot animation right over here. So to do that, we'll click Insert, go to Media, and click .lot. This will insert a .lot player. Now we'll go into our .lot files platform and we'll open our animation and we'll go into share. Now we'll go into handoff and embed and we'll enable asset link. Then in asset link format, we'll click .lot and then we'll copy the asset link. Now we'll go back into Framer and we'll click on the .lot player and in link, we can paste the asset link that we copied. There you go. We can make the backdrop transparent. And now we can place the animation inside the page. We'll adjust the positioning and scale it up accordingly. Once the scaling is right, we can go and preview it. There you go. It works perfectly. Now, if you want this animation to only play when the cursor is hovering on it, there's a way to do that. And uh, to do that, click on the dot lotty animation. Click hover play to yes. Now, when you preview the animation, it will only play on hover. So that's it. That's how to add dot animations to Framer. Hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.